Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Rick's Do-It-Yourself HVAC and Electrical Guide. Today we're going to talk about uh, electricity and uh, today's going to be the Electrical 101. So this might be a refresher course for some of you. If you've never had any electrical training then this will be a good place to start and I want you guys not to feel overwhelmed by this information. I am going to probably put it out there a little fast but it takes a long time to learn everything uh, in regards to electricity. I I had three months of intensive in school you know training when I first started and then I had a five-year apprenticeship and then on top of that you know another 10 years working in the field uh, you know 11 now but uh, you're always learning so don't get overwhelmed by that just understand that you know it might take you a little while do a little reading a little research on your end and uh, eventually you'll, you'll get a handle on it. So we're going to start from the top. Electrical 101. Volts, voltage. Which is abbreviated with a V for Victor or volts. The electrical symbol for it is E for Edward. And voltage is your electromotive force. Uh, also known as potential difference. Here in the US the standard voltage is um, 120 volts 60 Hertz. Um, your high voltage or I should say is 240 volts is what's coming into your house and that's what things like your dryer and your electrical range will run off of um, which is two legs of power and we'll get into that but generally for most household stuff like your normal outlet it's 115 volts 120 volts AC so on to the next one's amp the ampere uh, the abbreviation on that is the letter A the symbol electrical symbol is I and that stands for the intensity of current Next is resistance. The abbreviation on this is the omega. Hopefully my drawing there is decent enough for you guys. Um, the electrical symbol is R. Watts. Watts is your electrical power. It is represented by the symbol P. The abbreviation is W. So this is your electrical power. This is what you get charged for on your electrical meter through your power company. And that's what most things are measured off of for power wise is always through wattage. For instance a microwave you might have a thousand watt microwave, 700 watts, 1500 so on. Um, so that's your total power. In order to get wattage you have to know at least two of the uh, other electrical loads either the volts and the amps the amps and the resistance or, or volts and resistance the combination of those and you can find out how much power you're using Okay, now for this next section what we're going to talk about is Ohm's Law. And what is Ohm's Law? Ohm's Law is that states that amperage is equal to your voltage divided by your resistance. And from Ohm's Law you can basically calculate everything else from there. We can figure out resistance if, if we know the uh, voltage and our amperage. We can figure out our voltage if we know the amperage times our resistance. And we can also find our power, which is what you get charged for. And that's your voltage times your resistance. So Ohm's Law kind of covers everything and there's a lot more formulas for that. I, I did want to tell you guys about a, a book that I recommend. And that is Oogly's 
reference book. I have the 99 edition it's by George Hart. You can see that. That's the uh, Ohm's Law chart there on the front. And that gives you everything for calculating everything you need. So this is a really great book. I highly recommend it to anyone who's going to do any electrical work. It's one of the best reference guides I've ever come across. In fact, I've bought probably 40 or 50 of these over the years. I give them out as gifts, um, give them to my students. And so I, I highly recommend them. And, you know, hand them out to my apprentices I've had. It has everything in here that you could uh, need. And, and Okay, so now we're going to go a little further with Ohm's Law and actually calculate something out. So let's say you have a toaster oven or a microwave that's rated at 1200 watts. 1200 watts. And our voltage that you're plugging that into is 120 volts. We want to know how much amperage that's going to take. So in order to calculate what our amperage is, which is the letter I, our electrical symbol, that's equal to our, our wattage, P, over E. So 1200 divided by 120. Yes, I made a very simple problem for myself. <laughs> equals 10. So 10 amps is how much we are using. So the last thing we need to figure out is our resistance, our ohms. How much resistance does this appliance have? So our resistance is R is equal to our voltage, that's E, divided by our amperage, which is I. So in this case, we've got 120, divide that by 10, that equals 12 ohms of resistance.